Virginia House Democrats are delivering. Yeah. House Democrats are delivering for Pennsylvanians. We're returning money to our seniors, our property owners, and our renters by making sure that we've expanded the property tax rent rebate. Yeah, we did that. We're also protecting our seniors by making sure they get cheaper prescriptions by expanding PaceNet. Yes, we did that too. We're also helping our workers by making sure they can get to and from work, being able to afford childcare by passing the child care tax credit. We did that too. We also made sure we passed an earned income tax credit so that working families can get the discount and break they need as they pay their taxes and do everything possible to keep a roof over their heads and food on our table. House Democrats, we did that too. We're helping all of our workers save for retirement because we were able to pass the Keystone Saves program a few weeks ago. And today, we passed another tax credit to ensure that we have all of the folks we need that are essential workers. That includes our nurses, that includes our police officers, that includes our teachers. Pennsylvania House Democrats, we're delivering. And finally, after a long, hard battle, the Pennsylvania House Democratic Caucus is raising the minimum wage. In just our seventh week of full legislative session, this is only the seventh week that I've had the gavel, we've been able to do 77 bills, 75 of them bipartisan, eight of them are, are sponsored by Republicans. We've been able to accomplish that in just a few short weeks of having this majority. And the good news is we're just getting started. So why don't you thank Patty Kim, who's fought a long, hard time to give Pennsylvania workers a raise in the minimum wage. Let's thank our labor chair, Jason Dawkins, who's been in this battle. And before I give the microphone up, I've just got to say, as someone who waited tables for more than two years, thank you. Thank you to House Democrats. 